Hello, this is Mike Caps, Product Manager with UVP, and today I'll be giving you a demonstration of the Colony Docket Imaging Station. The Colony Docket is UVP's standalone dedicated colony counting imager. So let's begin with a system overview. Here we can see an image of the Colony Docket Imaging Station with its darkroom doors closed. The Colony Docket is capable of capturing brilliant publication quality images using its high resolution, high megapixel color camera. The system is capable of counting colonies as small as 0.08 millimeters in diameter. The Colony Docket accommodates poor, spread, and spiral plates ranging from 33 to 150 millimeters in diameter. And the system illuminates with epi white light, epi blue light, white dark field, or white transillumination, all of which come standard with the Colony Docket. Moving on to a hardware features overview, you can see an image of the Colony Docket imaging station with its darkroom doors open. The system is capable of accommodating two emission filters, which are useful for imaging colonies that express at a certain wavelength, such as GFP colonies. The system integrates epi white and blue lighting, as well as dark field or white transillumination, all of which are controllable using the two black switches located on the front of the system. Again, the Colony Docket integrates a high resolution color camera. The system utilizes a simple USB computer interface for easy system setup and operation. And again, the closable doors create a darkroom environment within the system. Some of the optional accessories for the Colony Docket include a GFP emission filter, a 20-inch touchscreen computer, a digital thermal printer, or UVP's UV incubator. Let's discuss some of the Colony Docket's imaging applications. GFP colonies, bacterial yeast, and mold colonies, as well as inhibition zones, are some of the primary uses for the Colony Docket. These are used in a variety of fields, including antibiotic testing, hygiene, pharmaceutical, and environmental studies. Let's move on now to a software demonstration. Here we can see the main screen of the Docket Colony Counter software package. Docket Colony Counter is the software used to capture images from the Colony Docket, as well as to perform analysis on the captured images. So let's begin with an overview of capturing an image. On the right hand side we see a camera plug-in. To capture an image we simply select the plate diameter 6 cm, 10 cm, or 15 cm, as well as the size of the smallest colony below 1 mm or 1 mm and above. From here we can click the preview button to preview the image and once we're satisfied with the preview image click capture to capture the image. In the middle of the screen here we have a GFP expressing colony plate that we have previously captured. So we'll go ahead and perform an analysis on this image. To begin with we'll move to the upper left corner of the screen to the elliptical ROI. Click on that button and a green ring will appear within the image. We can use the four white boxes on the corner to drag the circle around to select the area that we would like to analyze. Once we've selected the desired region of interest, we will simply click on Start Colony Count and perform an automated count. Within just a few seconds, we'll have a complete count of the colonies within this plate. And here the software has gone ahead and counted all of the colonies within this plate. On the left hand side of the screen we can scroll down through the menus to get to the bottom and see that we've counted a total of 150 colonies. From here we can do some post-processing editing on the colony count that's been conducted. Let's say that we need to edit some of the colonies on this plate. Colony number one at the top here appears to be two separate colonies that have merged into one. So what we can do is go to the bottom right of the screen here, use the plus button to zoom in on the image, and then directly above in the small image we can drag the white square up to the area that we're looking at. Here we can see number one. We can click on the magnifying glass button to scroll over the image and see what's underneath the analysis. 
So right here we'll click and hold and we can see that we do indeed have two separate colonies underneath. From here we can manually split the colonies by going to the left column and clicking manual split colonies. You simply left click, drag, and release and the software will automatically split the one colony into two. If we'd like to merge two colonies together we can click the merge colonies button select the two colonies that we'd like to merge and hit the merge button. We now have the two colonies merged back into one. Docket Colony Counter is also capable of automatically splitting colonies so let's give that a try. We'll click on Auto Split Colonies then select anywhere within the range that we're looking to split. And here the software has automatically split this into two colonies. And finally, post-processing, we can delete colonies that we're not interested in. So we'll click Delete Colonies, and let's say we want to delete number 150. We'll simply click within that colony, and we've deleted it. So once we've completed this analysis, again, we can scroll to the bottom and see how many colonies we have. And we're back to 150. Let's go back to the bottom right corner here, and we will scroll out to see the entire image of the colony and we'll recompute the colony labels here on the left side of the screen. What this will do is it'll allow the software to recompute the labels that are on the colonies starting from the upper left to the lower right just like you would read a book. Once the colony count has been completed we can go back to the left hand side of the screen and scroll up to the top and click the show results window menu. This will pull up a detailed report for the colony count we just conducted. The first page shows a general overview results window stating that we have 150 colonies as well as the total area of colonies, the mean area, the standard deviation of the area, minimum area and maximum area of the different colonies within the image. These are all listed in pixels but can be defined in other terms by using the calibration tool within the software. To look at some more detailed information regarding the specific colonies, we can go over to the Colonies tab in the Results window, and we can look at specific information relating to each of the colonies. All of this information is sortable using the top menu buttons. So here we clicked the Colony Number header, and we've sorted by Colony Number. Information in this report also includes area, perimeter, average diameter, and circularity of each of the colonies. Let's say that we want to find the largest colony within this plate. We can click the Area menu button to sort by colony size. Here we can see that the smallest colony is number 7. We can click the menu button again to sort and find the largest colony, which is number 99. From here we can click the File button to export our results to Excel or to a CSV file, both of which allow us to continue conducting analysis outside of the software package. Once the analysis has been complete, we can simply click the Clear Analysis button on the left-hand side of the screen and return to our original image. Now that we've completed the software demonstration, Let's discuss some of the benefits of working with UVP. UVP offers free available lifetime software upgrades on all of its software packages, including the Docket Colony Counter. We offer free lifetime technical and customer support with remote online assistance. UVP is proud to be ISO 9001 certified. And we have over 80 years of industry experience with over 30 years experience in the imaging industry. Our software is developed in-house, which allows us to fully utilize the capabilities of our hardware. And finally, we offer installation qualification and operational qualification, or IQOQ, documents for all of our imaging systems. Let's recap our presentation by discussing some of the benefits of the Colony Docket. The system is capable of capturing high resolution, high megapixel color images. Using Docket Colony Counter software, we can conduct quick, accurate colony counting 
as well as generate detailed reports. The system requires a small bench space footprint of less than one square foot and is both easy to set up and operate. Thank you very much for your time and for watching this Colony Docket Imaging Station training video. Please feel free to contact us with any additional questions you may have or check out our Colony Docket specific website located at the bottom of this page. Thank you again and have a great day.